Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Tangas of Lich Universe to the channel. Are you ready for something different on my channel? Not a guide, not a tutorial, not something in terms of technical, nifty stuff and, and things that make you look clever. This is about players that like to troll, that like to make the life of those who want to play the game properly a bit hard. I'm talking about assholes. Yeah. And I've nicked the title from Klaus Kellerman's channel. He has done a long-running series of The Biggest Asshole on What PC. Well worth checking out. There's a link in the description below and a link in the top right corner as well. And if you do have a better title for this type of video, I, tr I might make a series if it, if it lands well with you, with the subscribers. Then please drop that in the comments as well. And we're taking a look at R underscore Zavik 21 in a 112 Glacial. And he's gone up on Vineyards to uh, capture it out basically. You can see what's happening already behind him. There is a friend, friendly teammate who decides to use him as a shield and that's, that seems to be working because the R3 did not get shot at all at the moment and he's then thinking right I'm, I'm gonna tr I'll try to go forward and, and then get shot and Savik is not happy to say the least and he says Ayas blocked me in chat and that causes the R3 to go forward and just do it again. Yeah. Just block him, don't make him reverse, and Savik is gonna go down, I think. Yeah, there is a big shot of the Borsik straight through the front play. Thank you very much, Luki6402. Bit of a Muppet, maybe an asshole. Take a pick, the ball is in the top right corner of the screen. And the second clip was sent in by Tom Gold, and he's driving the grill at Mines. And if you had taken a look at the chat, you could already see the T95 stating, What the... Fuck IS-7, we need to report you. And if you see stuff like that, that's not something that, well, gets your hope up. And and then Tom is, is moving forward and he's not driving actually. No, this is why he's moving forward. Player underscore 98683956 or something like that. He decided to troll around and to push the tank destroyers on his team. The slow-moving, heavily armored big gun of the T95 and the really good sniper tank that is the Grill 15. And he then decides to go forward and try to block a shot, but luckily Tom gets a good shot into the PTA for 517 damage. 577 damage. Doesn't get the shot on the AMX 50 120. And his team has lost a T62A already. And Reds seem to have taken the hill. Oh, seem to have taken the hill. Reds have taken the hill. And the IS-7 is now being very happy, as you can see. His gun is bouncing up and down and he's trying to block Tom so that he can't shoot and try to make him ineffective. And player underscore 98 even tries to friendly fire him to put a shot into Tom. Is he then? Is that guy maybe from PC? Is, is it a player who thinks there's still friendly fire on uh, in Blitz? Well made, no such luck for you. There isn't. Tom manages to get away. He once again evolves into the game. Says bye. And then the IS-7 becomes really angry. Like, like really angry. And he decides to drive. Yes, he turns around and he decides to drive away and chase Tom. And Tom manages to feather this shot in onto the Type 61. There we go. Oh, a lovely one. Yes, Mr. I7, you were just a little bit too late. Just a little bit too late. If you would have bumped into Tom, you would have been a proper troll and a proper asshole. And this game, they're going to win it. So it might not be the, the, the really big asshole move because they're going to win the game. But then again, this type of gameplay, if it... Why? If, if it suits you... No, I already told you there's no friendly fire on Blitz. And Tom actually states, this is going on YouTube. And, and take a look at the chat. <laughs> Boom. I7. Oh, yeah, mate. Eternal glory awaits you. And the next clip was sent in by Rodders. And he's driving the Kampfpanzer Zipsi, the tier 9 German enriched tank. Um, and he was in platoon actually with me. I'm driving the Object 704. So I knew what was happening here. And, and, and take a look at the back over there. That's, that's ruling TR in the VK4502B. He decided to push the Chief to Mark VI out of a good hold down position because he wanted to be there. He decided to act like a proper Sheldon. This is my spot. This is the spot I want to be in in the center of the universe. And, and the Chieftain retaliates and that's, that's poor form on him. He decided to push the VK out of 
position as well. The VK did not get shot at all, neither has the Chiefs been shot yet, but things are going to change. Take, take a look, take a look. Hello. Hello, Chief. I'm going to push you. I I've lost it now. You've enraged me and I'm going to retaliate and I'm going to push you and I'm going to flip you right on your side. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's what you do if something happens in the game and you don't like that. You push tanks and you put them up onto the side and push them up onto a hill so they are sitting there helpless and they can only spin their turrets around and maybe, maybe, maybe they are able to shoot over the back of the tank or if anybody approaches from the from your spawn then you have a chieftain in a, well in a position that Res would not expect him to be he can be held down there and the chief is able now to to guard the rear as you can see he's he's completely held down be, uh, behind the hill actually and he can poke over the rock and <laughs> this just why low shafike says kung fu joe from red team and the grill is also kind of Having fun. I don't know what's happening, <laughs> why people like to do that. But you can vote on him. Is ruling TR in the VK4502B the biggest asshole of this episode? Yeah, you're pushing pretty hard, mate. You are pushing pretty hard. Report VK45, everybody said. I decided to ask people to send me in replays. And Falcon Ultra in the Chief to Mark VI is the last tank to go down. And Jukes52 in the Scorpion G takes us back to Mines. And we could already see Captain Bloodfist, Blood first Bloodfist, in the FE201 driving backwards. And if you see a heavy tank on a map like mine driving backwards, and he, you, you know that he is in a platoon, and they are going to hide behind a shelter, behind a shed, you could think, right, these guys, they have a cunning plan. They are expecting a push of the Reds through the town area. They haven't quite figured out yet you don't have a spawn to guard, you don't have a base to guard on Blitz, you do have that on console and PC, but not so much on Blitz. And Jukes replied already or stated in the chat, report the FEs. He kind of knows what is going on and Greens have taken the hill, so everything is basically there to win the game. A tank destroyer to guard the back, you have picked uh, the hill, you've taken control of, of the center area on mines, they have got that. But yeah, nope, not gonna help, says Gerald Holcomb in the FE201. Nope, nope, is the next reply there from Sergeant, from Captain Bloodfist19. They're not gonna do anything. But these guys, they know how to be proper Muppets. They know how to do this because they are indeed not going to help, but they are not stupid. They will be reported, obviously. I mean, everybody on the team, all five tanks will, will give them downvotes for inactivity in battle. But they know how the system works. They will get an in, in, inactive, they will get that downvote, but it's an automated system and I doubt that they will really get a downvote on their uh, on their chart, on their uh, military honor. Because as soon as they get rushed, Jukes is going to go down. As soon as they get rushed, they will start shooting. And they will do damage and they will move forward and backwards and turn the turrets and get shot and, and, and then die. And then the system will not figure out that these guys have been here in the back. There has to be a replay sent into Wargaming or a contributor who wants to make them kind of famous and call abuse of the game out. I mean, this this is this this is just stupid. Report you. No, mate, you have done you have done anything. And you're cunning. I have to give give it to you. I have to uh, um, give credit where credit due. You do play this well in a way because you start shooting the reds and because you start shooting the reds you can't get a real inactive vote so are these guys the biggest assholes leave a vote top right hand side corner of the screen and the last clip has been sent in by pool for the win and he's in a grill and on the lineup he noticed there was a platoon of an m60 and an e100 an eve death wagon and monster bonobo 
have decided we are going to troll. We are going to be absolute muppets and just sit here and basically make pool for the win, pay for sitting in this bush. They push him out of cover, he bounces the shot <laughs> on the tracks. Good on him, lovely. He bounces the shot on the tracks and he wants to go forward, he types in chat, oh my god, this is a troll platoon. Um, well, if you are a proper troll platoon, if you are a platoon of assholes, of muppets, then there is, of course, you will try to live up to your name. So what you're gonna do then if the grill starts moving forward, you're gonna move forward as well. And it's a bit unlucky that Pooh misses this shot just by a small margin. But there's Eve Dive Wagon pushing Pooh for the win into the building. And Monster Bonobo decides to go on the left side of Pooh to make it really impossible for him to move anywhere. And he's getting lifted up. And if we would have had physics, I think Pooh for the win would have actually been able to go up on the roof of this building. And Eve Devwagon is, well, his, his clan name is Suits, what he is. He's, he is a loser. He is a guy that just trolls around. Take a look at Bushka's channel as well. He has been called out there and he's still playing the game. An absolute muppet. And then his platoon mate, Monster Bonobo. I think it's actually an insult to Bonobos, because they probably have more brain cells than you. you. You are making it impossible for Greens to enjoy the game. And let's kind of face it, you are also making it impossible for Rats to have proper games. Because having one asshole on a team is annoying enough. But if you have platoons like this, just two tanks doing absolutely nothing, that makes it a 7 or 5 game. It's not going to be fun for anybody. And even 100 on Reds is actually thinking, what is happening here? WTF. Yes, Monster Bonobo decided to take a shot and he's asking for help constantly. Mate, just don't pretend. Muppet, Muppet, asshole. You guys get to decide who was the biggest asshole of this episode. Please leave a like and a comment in the description below if you like me to do more videos like this. My name is Martin Douglas. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers and happy tanking!